Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the new RX 5700 XT. Uh, XT? <laughs> XT! Yes, it's it's new because it's new in the channel, you know, it's not actually new, but yeah, you know, you guys know what I mean. So, this is the power caller version, like, non-overclock, but it has two fans on it, so it's not the reference version. Uh, we are running the latest drivers from AMD, of course, 20.1.2, and people are joining in today my friends so we might win this one of course i'm running it with the ryzen 7 3700x and 16 gigs of ram dual channel 3200 megahertz as usual oh no he just he just left he just left us why? So my friends, I'm gonna be testing the 5700 XT today at 1080p, low competitive, which is low with epic view distance, medium, medium no shadows, high, high with no shadows, and epic, epic with no shadows. I am running it in DirectX 11, as you can see right there. So I'm expecting the 5700 XT to be bottlenecked here by the Ryzen 7 3700X, just because we're probably gonna get like 300 FPS, and at those high frame rates with a GPU as powerful as this, of course the CPU is gonna be the limit here so we're seeing a few stutters here and there while dropping that's the usual stuff i always say this in my videos there's another one there so yeah let's just drop right here all right let's start counting our fps by the way as you can see they're pretty damn high oh boy oh boy there's an eight ball right there hi oh oh my gosh why why game why did you give me a sniper rifle another one are you kidding me game please Where's the guy? Alright, I got him. Finally! Okay, we got our first kill here. Our averages FPSs are very nice. 300 plus FPS on average. That's insanely good. And keep in mind that we are in the whipping wood, so it's very, very GPU intensive. But still, we are uh, CPU bound, as you can see, because our GPU isn't maxed out, of course. So I'm level 59, apparently, for some reason. Alright, I got the other one. Very nice job. I'm getting the hang of this again. So, the gameplay here is very smooth. As you can see, it hardly stutters. It did stutter a lot when we were dropping, but, you know, that's the usual stuff that Fortnite does when rendering in everything at once. But right now, it's just buttery, buttery smooth. Our 1% lows are also very good at uh, 200 plus FPS right now. So, if you guys want a competitive uh, experience here in Fortnite and have the budget to afford a 3700X with an RX 5700 XT, well guys, just go for it. This is an amazing experience, of course, with something like an i7-8700K or an i9-9900K or 9700K overclocked. Yeah, if you overclock those CPUs, you can actually get more FPS than these, but yeah, the, the Ryzen 7 3700X actually can't be overclocked further than this. If you do, it actually ends up losing a few FPS in gaming. So yeah, just run it as stock it's pretty much the best thing that you can do with this one so anyways that's enough of low settings 313 shut up shut up please <laughs> 313 fps on average that's insane that's the most i've seen here so far i think in the channel so yeah that's to be expected this is also my highest end gpu in the channel 202 fps one percent lows did somebody say 240 hertz well you can definitely have that experience here with these specs it's amazing okay so putting the view distance on epic i'm just gonna start this okay so yeah we should be seeing like a 10 fps drop here by using competitive settings uh, that's probably a what guys okay just stop there come over here boy come over how did i <laughs> <laughs> the guy was just running in front okay 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 oh my god this is so hard Thank you very much, buddy. You got it. Our boy Seeds001 is doing this. So we got two kills already. Both of us, of course. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. This is a bot. This is a bot, definitely. Yep, okay then. We're like running around the same areas as we did before. I'm just gonna go inside of the house somewhere here just to see our maximum FPS. But we've seen our minimum so far, which was. Uh, should I go with this? Yeah, the heck with it. Which was 107, around 177 FPS, 1% lows as you can see right there. So it's pretty damn smooth still for a 240 Hz monitor. You can definitely run a monitor like that at 1080p using 
this graphics card. It's going to be a wonderful experience. And again, if you have something like an i9-9900K or an i7-9700K or 8700K, you're probably going to get like 20 to 30 more FPS than what you're seeing right now. So yeah, it's 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 a still a very smooth experience here with the 3700X, of course. But those CPUs, when overclocked, can pull ahead a little bit, you know. So yeah. Intel still has a gaming advantage a little bit. Oh my gosh, I just dropped there. <laughs> okay, that's enough of competitive settings. 291 FPS on average, 182 FPS, 1% lows. Guys, 165 hertz monitor, 240 hertz monitor. This is kind of overkill for a 144 hertz monitor. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't say that too often, you know? So, switching to medium settings. Here we go. As you can see, everything is set to medium. We're also going to be testing medium with no shadows in a little bit. Of course, there's always a little bit of a stuttering mess when you apply medium settings because everything has to reload, you know, in the map. But, okay, I think we're good right now, so let's start counting our FPS again. As you can see, guys, this is amazing. We're still <laughs> getting 200 plus FPS and we are still CPU bound over here because our CPU usage, well, it's not using all of our CPU, of course, because the game can't really utilize all of those Reds stutter there, so our 1% lows got a little bit of a drop there. Okay, I'm just, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I got this one. Where Where are the others? There's another one there. I got you. Very nice. Alright, we're doing this, boys. A couple of stutters here and there. I'm not liking that too much, to be honest, but it's just how Fortnite runs. Uh, of course, our 1% lows are still very, very low here on medium settings. It's usually not that low. We got a couple of stutters, like very big stutters in the previous round while I was killing the other squad right there in the whipping wood. So I want to retest this to see if it's actually the graphics card introducing some stuttering or if it was just a random a few stutters here in the game so we're testing medium settings once again i think it's medium with shadows enabled but uh, as you know on medium settings the shadow render distance is quite small or quite short and uh, yeah it's it takes a while yep yeah it's on medium settings there you go the shadow render distance i don't like it okay so i'm not going to go there because it's, there's probably no weapons there I'm just gonna go ahead and open this chest over here. Yes, that's what I want. Not really a FAMAS, but okay. That's better than nothing, right? All right, let's just move around. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna reset that, give it the benefit of the doubt, and do this again. Many people are actually saying that they have stuttering issues when playing at 1080p with lower quality settings with the 5700 RX series, so not sure about that. Not sure if that was a one-off in the previous game as well, but yeah, so far it's actually doing fine here. There's a stutter every now and then, but you know, remember that Fortnite always does that in every single graphics card that I've tested so far. And I've also seen those stutters in various configurations, so it's okay. Anyways, I think so. If it starts to stutter more than that, I will, of course, leave it on camera to show you the experience. That's the point of these videos, you know. But yeah, so far, it's the usual stuff. Those stutters actually in the previous game seemed to be quite bigger than the usual, but... I I don't know guys, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt of course. So yeah, as you can see here, 240 hertz monitors, uh, 144 hertz monitors, 165 hertz monitors like mine. The experience is smooth overall, uh, the game stutters, but this is just the engine, you know, Unreal 4 engine. Every game with this engine stutters a little bit, so mm. so far so good. It's running really smoothly as you can see right now, I'm just doing here like yeah, it doesn't stir it anymore. Okay, or at least they're random, you know. 244 FPS on average, 152 FPS, 1% lows. We're still CPU bound, by the way, of course. So, yeah, this is a very high frame rate. So, let's turn off the shadows here. Hi, guys, I'm sorry for not high-fiving you, but <laughs> I was just changing the settings, of course. Let's go and do this again. So, 200 and something FPS still, of course. Obviously, we just dropped the shadows here. We're probably gonna get like 10 more FPS 
than what we did at medium settings? Maybe not, actually, because remember that we are now CPU bound and I'm not usually CPU bound. As we are CPU bound and shadows are like kind of a GPU intensive setting, um, yeah, we're seeing a few more FPS, of course, uh, but it's not as pronounced as, for example, an RX 570 or a GTX 1050 Ti, stuff like that will definitely get hit more by dropping the shadows here so yeah we're still experiencing like around 260 fps on average 160 fps 1% low so our 1% lows are kind of the same as medium settings like 10 fps more i think this is this is very smooth okay so it didn't really stutter anyways here on medium settings without shadows so i might have been a little bit picky here i'm not sure i'm just telling you guys what I found on the internet, you know? 266 FPS on average, 165 FPS, 1% lows. And by the way, we are in the whipping woods and nobody's here, so it's a very fine day here in Fortnite to test the 5700 XT. So everything seems to be loaded in because there's no stuttering as you can see right now. And let's start counting our averages and 1% lows as always. And the game just, <laughs> he's doing the same thing as I am, right? <laughs> let's keep on moving here high settings look beautiful in this game to be honest i would probably play on high with the 5700 xt seeing the kind of fps that we're seeing right now i have a 165 hertz monitor so anything like around the 150 fps to 170 fps on average is what i should be aiming for i think and yeah, this is just completely smooth. We've seen like a couple of stutters, but they were just the, the usual, you know, very small stutters that are almost unnoticeable, but they're there, so keep that in mind. This is just Fortnite, you know, Fortnite isn't perfect. High settings at 1080p, 160 FPS on average, almost. 144 hertz monitors at 1080p. Rejoice, my friends, because... That, that wasn't probably the way to say that, but whatever. Just be happy, my friends, because with these GPUs, 144 Hz is definitely achievable at high settings at 1080p. These are very, very strong, as you can see, and they're probably made for 1440p gaming, and I will still test 1440p, of course, here in Fortnite as well, as well as in more games with the 5700 XT, because I, for example, personally, will be playing at 1440p, but but if you do have a 144 hertz or 165 hertz or even a 240 hertz monitor this GPU can definitely handle that and as you can see everything is way smoother right now maybe because we are not CPU bound anymore so thank you very much for the sniper rifle although I suck a little bit with it but yeah thank you anyways 159 FPS on average 126 FPS 1% lows very 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 smooth experience okay let's just start this again it's night time it's just you know uh, oh boy oh my god okay wait a second wait a second oh I missed Jesus no no. Oh, I don't have bullets left. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Right there? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, thank you. Thank you for saving me, I think. Oh, thank you very much. That's why you want subscriber help, you know? You guys help me to keep doing videos here and watch my videos and I am extremely grateful for that and you guys all also help me in the videos itself, so <laughs> that's beautiful, okay? What a community we have here. Thank you so much, my friends. Oh god. Oh my god. I missed my opportunity there, actually. I'm just gonna go away. What's going on? Survivor Medal of... Oh, we all died. Guys, if you guys have a 5700 XT or an RX 5700 non-XT card, please let me know in the comments down below what your experiences are being, because I really can't tell if it's actually the card itself that's making the game stutter, or uh, there it is, 1% lows of 11 FPS, or if it's just the game that it's being like randomly stuttering like usual, but a little bit more today for some reason that I don't know of. So yeah, let's just let me know in the comments. So it seems to have smoothed out a little bit here. As you can see, there's no stuttering anymore. So I, that's what I like to see. You know, only stuttering in the buzz because that's where you are actually loading the map and stuff. Uh, but down here, I want a very smooth experience and we are getting that right now. I think I'm, I'm talking about stuttering way too much here today, my friends. But it's bugging me a little bit here. In the back of my head, I have those Reddit stories that I've told you about 
about. Okay, thank you very much, buddy. DRF, you're the man. Thank you for giving me one mini shield. Yeah, this is just mwah, very, very nice. Epic settings this time around. Love you too, buddy. Love all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can see here, guys, epic settings is running really well here. And it's looking very, very pretty. So colors pop up very well here at epic. The uh, NEA listing is good. Even though I'm running a 1440p monitor at 1080p, I can tell that the NTA listing is doing its job very well. It's not blurring things too much. And it's there there aren't jaggies anywhere so that that's a good implementation of nta leasing here in fortnite so i like to see that and of course our fps are pretty damn high so even if you have a 144 hertz monitor here uh, you can play this game at 1080p with the rx 5700 xt without an issue it runs really 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 smoothly and this is kind of what i expected from a card like this you know a 400 dollar card uh, today uh, you can say that it's mid-range but it's quite Quite high end, in my opinion. I'm not too sure about that. Anyways, I'm not gonna comment on that too much. But yeah, anyways, I think that $400 cards are mid range today, okay? Performance wise, they seem like they are high end, but they are priced as mid range, so they're, yeah, they're, they're mid range, alright? High end is like the 2080s, 2080 Super, 2080 Ti. This is actually the highest end card that an AMD makes, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> my friends, for 1080p gaming, this is actually all you need. Let's just drop the shadows right now. Okay, and we are back into the 180s. Almost 200, 220 there. Okay, that's wow. Epic settings without shadows if you want that higher visual fidelity with the anti-aliasing and the textures and lightning and stuff. And you don't want the shadows because either you want to be more competitive and the shadows actually uh, make it a little bit harder for you to spot people at the distance especially. Or they just drop your FPS way too much and you have like a 240 hertz monitor and you can actually take advantage of like 200 hundred plus FPS. Either way, if you are one of those people and want to play with an RX 5700 XT Fortnite at 1080p epic settings without settings, epic settings without shadows, it's definitely gonna be playable as you can see right now. We're not even using 99% of our GPU which is insane to think of uh, but of course yeah with like 150 plus FPS what do you expect? So okay okay Right, right, right. Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are they? What is going on? I don't understand what's going on right now. Guys, guys. I'm very confused. Okay, one down. Oh my god. I got two of them. I got everybody. Actually, I just got two of them. Yeah, but, but that, that was nice, wasn't it? Very nice. This is the one that we're gonna win here with the RX 5700 XT. Can we actually destroy that thing? Nice! Oh my god, look at that! Oh boy, it wasn't enough for them to die, but yeah, it was close, I think. Oh my gosh, I keep missing! Can I do this? Oh! Yes, I hit him! Finally! We're doing this, my friends. So, 24 people left. Oh my god, oh my god, no! Oh, I, I, I got him! Nice! Oh boy, oh boy, there's another one here. Oh no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Not gonna do this. Do you have shields, my friend? No, you don't. Boys are actually getting them. Yes, I got another one. We're doing this, my friends. This is good. Seeds. No, seeds. No, we got this again. Let's just revive people here. Oh boy, that was chaotic. And there wasn't a single stutter as well right there. So it was right now, but yeah, that's just... Guys, should we do high settings again? Because I feel like high settings is very appropriate here for this GPU. So I'm gonna do that again. And the game just overall runs pretty damn well and looks good. Oh my god, I didn't know this happened with this. Jesus, we got all of the shields now. Okay. God. Oh my god. Really stop. Ah! That one is down, I think. Oh my god, what the heck just happened? Oh, there's one very close to us, I think. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. We almost got him, by the way. Or not. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> just gonna try to push him here. Alright, alright. We're doing this, my friends. Jesus. No, let's go with the axes. I don't care! Come on! <laughs> God damn it! Where is he? 
Nice, we got him. Very, very nice. My hands are sweaty. My knees are weak. Spaghetti everywhere! <laughs> There's two of them there, actually. Oh, I missed. God damn it. Slowly but surely approaching us. Let's do this. We got this! Oh my gosh, we got this! <laughs> we got this one in the bag! I told you that we'd win this one with the 5700 XT. Very good job, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me in this one. And yeah, 185 FPS on average and 129 FPS, 1% lows. Once again, thank you Orex and DRF as well as Seeds001 for joining me. I very much appreciate it because if it wasn't for... For you I would probably not win this one and thank you everybody that's watching the video I very much appreciate you as well so uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next time hopefully love you all bye bye